What's up, YouTube? Nitro Kid on you here today. Uh, we got a couple new things on the car. Um, we got an eBay wastegate, uh, which is a tile copy, pretty much. Uh, there will be a review coming up very soon of that. I did it, just haven't got a chance to upload it. I've been pretty busy here lately. Um, we got the new piece of intercooler piping in. I noticed, uh, I mean, I first year I noticed it is no longer one with the HKS flange. Um, this right here is a, uh, let's see, excess power. Uh, I think it's the uh, turbo excess copy. Uh, we've already drilled a hole in it and put the flange in. As you can see, I ain't even got it welded yet. Um, I just got done drilling and tapping that just a little bit ago uh, and then to put that plug in. Um, I can weld, but unfortunately right now I do not have the capability of welding a pure aluminum like this. Um, so I'm going to have to wait for my fabricator. Uh, day Saturday, he's not open. I called him a little too late. I had to wait for the pipe to get here. And I uh, just got here like an hour and a half ago. So unfortunately I can't get a hold of him today to get it done. He's already closed up shop. Can't say I blame him. And um, so hopefully Monday we're going to go ahead and be getting a hold of him to um, get that done. Uh, ordered the fuel system. The fuel system was supposed to be here today, but uh, both, and I find this kind of odd, but UPS and FedEx, it was on the vehicles for both of them to be delivered um, at, I think, let's see, 9.30 this morning. They posted an update saying that they decided to deliver it the next uh, the next business day. Uh, they, I was home. I was waiting on them all morning. So I know that ain't the thing. Um, honestly, personally, I hate UPS and I hate FedEx. Um, I like um, UP. What is it? United States Postal Service UPS. S. I don't remember what, how it goes. Um, but the actual United States Postal Service. Yeah, USPS. There you go. USPS. There we go. That's the ones I like. Normally, they always get my stuff here before their actual quota date. They never do the, oh, well, we couldn't make it a day bullshit. Um, and the guys, I order tons of shit. So, I mean, I've worked with all of them a lot. Um, and, no, I, I've had a lot of problems out of UPS and FedEx. A lot of problems. Um, the only one I really haven't dealt with a lot of DHL. I'll get stuff from them every now and again. Uh, I'm not even sure if they're really that big in the business no more. I know they had some problems a while back. Um, the only problem, real quick, that I had about this pipe is it's actually a half an inch, the half an inch to three quarters of an inch shorter. I haven't actually fully got a chance to measure it. So I gotta get an extended coupler because it's wanting to pull the intercooler, pull it up on that side, which is gonna look really crappy going down the road. I'm not sure if you can see it. You probably can't. Um, but let me go ahead and explain why we're running that system. I know I told in the last video that I was going to want to run something different than HKS blow-off valve. Unfortunately, I was forced to. Um, I ordered an HKS blow-off valve. Here's the snap ring that went to it. And, excuse me. And went to put it on, and the flange on this piece of pipe is too shallow. It is a very poorly made flange. By the time you put the O-ring in it so it can seal up, set the blow-off valve down, you have nowhere near enough room to put the snap ring in. I mashed it blow up down as tight as I could and I could not get it nowhere near showing the ring and or the indention to where the snap ring should pop into. I've tried every little thing I could and then I went and got me another flange, put it beside this one and you could see the obvious difference. Unfortunately I have neither the HKS blow up or the flange on hand to show you all. I traded it for the um, excess power. Um, RFL blow off valve that is on the car now. So, and um, as you can see, also I have another wastegate that was a copy of the tile. This is actually an excess power, which there's no difference between this and just a straight no name. Um, I got that on eBay for $18.25. I uh, bid it on it, um, and I, have to, I literally paid three bucks for it, then 15 shipping. And so he probably paid five shipping, and then you know got 13 bucks. That's awesome. I'm really happy with that. Um, and I bought that just in case anything goes wrong with this one. And I will give you like a little quick update from looking at both of the wastegates. I'm very happy with them. The diaphragms inside of them look really good. The only thing that I really see being a problem is the spring, um, which goes with any no-name um, wastegate for the fact that under extreme heat it could you know basically lose its tension. Um, and kind of you know smash down just from you know um, I'm trying to think of the actual more or less just give up you know under the heat and uh, we're probably going to be replacing it with a tile for that reason um, I paid sixty one dollars for that one shipped and eighteen thirty five for the or eighteen twenty five for the other one shipped so those are the new things that I've got going on guys hopefully like I said I ordered the fuel system it should be here Monday uh, the twelve one FMU the Wally two fifty five uh, liter per hour fuel pump. 
Um, I got the stuff to make the downpipe on the way. We're going to custom do the downpipe. Um, and I also have white primer. So we can go ahead and start getting this underway. This has been sitting like this too long. We're actually going to shave all that or uh, sand all that off. We're going to clean the wing up. And then we're going to come over here and actually I never really primer this. And we're actually going to go ahead and primer over all that. Um, this is where I filled in the holes. And um, I, I know some people leave the holes there. I can't, man. That just bugs the shit out of me. Uh, I like things being right. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the interior, putting all that back in, cleaning up all the wiring. Um, and the DIS2, if you remember in the other video I said went out, we're actually going to hopefully soon be replacing that. Um, but anyway, and the reason we're going to do the DIS2 is because a lot of times when you run just an FMU, you can't, um, it, there, there's certain things that you do like with the uh, bigger intercooler stuff that'll make it full timing certain things that make it retard timing and considering I'm just running an FMU which is a manual um, fuel control unit uh, I can't control anything else uh, but with the DIS2 Plus until I get mega square I can actually tune my timing I can retard it advance it and stuff like that and it helps with the tuning process so it'll give me a little bit of a leg up give me a little bit better spark um, so that's all definitely stuff that we need at this point. And I, I just got to say, guys, I cannot wait to fire this thing up. Uh, I can't wait to hear the blow-up valve hit. Um, I'm really excited. I'm stoked. As a matter of fact, uh, this car sat for two, two and a half years now, I believe, with no motor in it. And uh, now it's got a, a motor with a turbo kit bolted up on it. And, um, yeah. And also, by the way, a buddy of mine, um, Andrew Reinhardt, um, recently bought a um, eBay turbo his turbonetics locked up yeah believe that a name brand turbo locked up I know that never happens only the Chinese ones um, but anyway it locked up and um, he went ahead and bought a Chinese turbo and been running it for two days and it's been working out great and I really hope to actually soon get that on video uh, which you're gonna have this Godspeed one on video I mean if it detonates I'm gonna give y'all guys like a full rundown of how this thing works out I I'm hoping and praying that I can finally put this bullshit to rest about Chinese turbos being completely off um, I do know some are um, I got one back here on the I'm sorry guys I don't mean to stretch this video out so long I'm just trying to show some things I got this one back here good thing it makes it a pile of crap as you can see where it was never balanced this thing blew up this is a Chinese turbo you can see there it has not been balanced at all I'll spin it so you can see there's nothing on this turbo that has been balanced no and it is a M12 50 AR Chinese TO4E turbo charger now that one I will agree is a pile of shit but um anyways that's uh that's pretty much it um, I say hopefully within the next week or two we get this bad boy to fire. Actually, probably won't be working on anything next weekend. Going to the drag strip, uh, imports versus domestics. I, I tried. I missed. Tried to miss it. I missed it all three times this year, and the very last time I'm absolutely not missing that. But um, anyways, guys, this is Nitro Kid 98. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. We will have this thing running soon, and we will be giving you more updates as they come. Appreciate it.